Hello guys and welcome to this very special video. It's going to be quite quick. I don't want to, to keep it very long. I just want to do a very quick overview of my Zodiac watch collection. So uh, actually, as you have probably seen in the channel, uh, some of my videos are not done by myself. Uh, we are a group of people, of friends, of appassionates on watches that uh, that tend to collaborate between us and do some of our reviews of our watches. So uh, between me and my friend, we actually have, I think, pretty much every Zodiac. Uh, we are quite fans of the Zodiac brand. Uh, I like it because of the quality and, and, and also because of the movements and how, how it's also presenting itself. So this is just a quick review on my collection, the ones that I have at home. Uh, so uh, you can see, I can share with you some of the models. There are some quite interesting, some of them. And uh, we can do maybe more detailed videos uh, in time so that you can have a, a better view of some of them. So I'm going to go pretty quick around them. So here you have the Sea Dragon. The Sea Dragon in this green coloration, obviously the Sea Dragon came in different colorations and, and you have, uh, it goes from blue to, to kind of a cream colors, to light blues, etc. This is a green with cream, as you can see in the external uh, kind of inner bezel. So uh, it has a red uh, decoration in the hands and a red second hand. I have done a video about this and you can double check of that if you want. It's a beautiful watch, uh, very nice, very well done. The bracelet has this very nice kind of mechanical feeling onto it because also of the movement. So it's quite comfortable. It's quite unique, I think, in terms of watches. And you also have uh, an open case back that shows the movement. So uh, this is for the DC Dragon. Uh, so it will present, it presents itself. It can be used in several locations. You can use it in a formal setting. You can use it in a sports setting. I think it's a quite versatile watch. What else we have here? We have the Cosmograph. Uh, this is a Com Cosmograph uh, new edition with the leather band and deployant clasp. As you can see, this is the classical Cosmograph with the square case and it presents itself quite beautiful with this brownish coloration, this vintage loom on it that is kind of cream and the red dot that reminds me of some vintage divers watches that usually have the red dot in the bezel. So I think it's a nice addition that they did here with the Cosmograph. Here we have a Super Sea Wolf, one of the many variations that they have. In this case, this is a white dial with the standard white. Uh, you know, this is a plastic material that they use in the vessel. It's not glass. Sapphire, yes, obviously here. And then you have this totally opaque white with this kind of blue loom indexes that is, are pretty nice when they get uh, charged. And I especially like this kind of NATO strap-on uh, band that it comes with. It's quite sporty. It's quite easy to use with a lot of type of clothing. I think this is a very nice watch and the color, it's, it, it reminds me of summer. I think it's, it's very nice. Then we have one of the limited editions. I have two limited editions. Uh, Zodiac in general, they are kind of limited editions. Everything that they do, it's limited in number. And uh, either you find you are lucky enough to have a retailer nearby that has them. Otherwise they are pretty difficult to find. And so they sell a small amounts of their watches and they tend to release one or two type of watches a year. And this is what Zodiac has been doing with the new Rebirth, let's say. So, and that's okay for me, but then you have limited editions that are done in numbers that are lower than 200 usually. So here you have the Super Sea Wolf that presents itself with one of the characteristic diving cases. Obviously this came uh, in a very nice uh, box, uh, kind of leather pouch, actually. Uh, that reminds you also of the Zodiac uh, sea wolf that you see here in the back. I think that's a pretty nice touch. This is probably one of the nicest uh, straps that you can that you see in the box. I, I like a lot this Velcro strap, but you also have a stainless steel mesh, uh, kind of Milanese, and you also have inside a, one of the rubber uh, vanilla scented uh, tropic um, 
bands that they usually tend to use. Then you have this very nice Olympus limited edition from all the Olympus that there are there from Zodiac. I think this was the nicest. I, it was quite difficult for me to get a hand of it, uh, but I love it because it it's the only one with the military origin. And they actually, there is a prototype that they did uh, during uh, the 60s that was used by the militaries. Uh, there are some files about this, but Zodiac even lost some of its uh, files. So when they found pictures of people that said, you know, I had one Zodiac during the war. Uh, so they redo it. It's a 41 mil uh, case. So it's bigger than the normal Olympus. And, and I think it's quite beautiful. It actually comes with two straps. This green NATO that I think suits very well the the military style. And then you also have a, a leather, brown leather a strap that you can easily change uh, with the tools. So I think this is one of the nicest uh, Zodiac re-editions that were done. Uh, very limited in number of pieces. I think 180 something. Here you have another Super Sea Wolf uh, that has a, a different bezel, obviously, than the other one that we were showing. So this is the variation that you have here with, uh, in this case, the bicolor between the bezel and the dial and then the inner kind of indexes that it presents. There are several uh, Zodiacs like this and, and they have become pretty well known because of some of their, you know, extreme colorations like the watermelon, which I think is pretty nice. But what I like about this one of all the others is that it doesn't come in a stainless steel and it comes in a pretty unique uh, strap made of fabric. And I think it's quite beautiful with a deployment clasp. At the start, it was a little bit stiff, but it was new. So now that I have been using it like two, three times, uh, it's quite more wearable, more easy to fit. Once it goes into your wrist, it remains there solid. And I think this is probably one of the best at the end uh, straps that they have made. Some people say that they are difficult to use and they didn't know how to put it. Some people change it. I, I don't, it was just a matter of getting the, the fabric a little bit softer and working it out. So this is the Jetomatic. This is one of the latest models that they released uh, last year. And the Jetomatic, as you, you can see, reminds you of pilot watches with this pointer crown and, and also the numbers, kind of a reminiscence of explorers or with these uh, Arabic numbers at 12, 9, 3 and 6. The loom works perfectly. At the same time, it presents its classical kind of hands that go around. So it reminds you kind of, of you know, a vintage watch. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. The, the bracelet is pretty well done. Also the closure, it's a double deployant, uh, as you can see. Very nice, uh, very solid. The bracelet presents itself with this mesh uh, kind of, you know, uh, design. There are several colorations, obviously. I, I choose the gray one. I think it suited best my collection. Uh, and I really love it also as a, as a watch. So uh, you can say that Zodiac has many kind of tool watches at the end. If you take into consideration the divers and the pilots and the military and even the cosmograph, it gives you the sense of a tool watch. Uh, so this is what I have today. It probably represents kind of everything that Zodiac has in their catalogs. Uh, I'm pretty looking forward also what they're going to release. I really hope that they release some new uh, designs. I think they have materials to work on. They have a history behind, a, a history that's longer than maybe one century. They have in-house movements with the STPs because they are produced by by the diesel group, they are owned by the diesel group anyway. So uh, this video is going longer than I intended to. I, I, I intended something pretty quick, but at least give you an idea of the rainbow of, you know, products and availability that Zodiac is suffering at the moment. So anyway, guys, uh, as you can see, I, I like Zodiac as a brand and, and I think it's, it's going to be an interesting brand also in the future. So Let's keep, uh, take care, every one of you, and talk to you soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.